All right, so I think it's safe to say that these cartoons changed me, bro. Like, I'm just not the same anymore. They changed me both in a good way and a bad way, all right? Like, I mean, despite the shows are really entertaining, some of them just really scarred me for life. And I think some of you might already know what shows I'm talking about if you grew up in the 2000s and 2010s. And as some of you may know, I grew up like kind of half in the 2000s, half in the 2010s. And of course, I was someone who would watch a lot of TV. It was basically all I did back in the day. Like, my parents wouldn't be home to watch watch me so what would I do I would go to my grandma's house and she would watch me and I would just watch TV in summary I was a fucking bum but I was also like I don't know five to ten years old now I think it's safe to say that we gotta start off with courage the cowardly dog I love this show and despite me loving the show there were some moments in the show that really fucking scared me now the plot of the show basically every episode something scary would happen so courage would have to stay ten toes to protect like the people who owned him which were Eustace and Muriel and apparently they couldn't see like any of the monsters, I guess. I don't know what the fuck was up with them. Maybe just old age or something. So Courage had to do the most to keep the farm safe, bro. He was not gonna let it slide. He was gonna have to scrap with these monsters if he really had to. And Courage, of course, would come across some really scary faces. Like this one, bro. Tell me not. If you watched Courage the Cowardly Dog, that gave you nightmares. Like, come on. That shit had me pissing myself at night. Like, I wouldn't even get up to go pee because if I know if I did, I would be hauling ass to the fucking bathroom. Like, after I saw that, especially, there was no saving me. I have no fucking clue how that scared me, but if anything, now it just looks goofy as hell. But after I saw some of these monsters, bro, I was not the same. Like, I would literally grab one of the blankets at my grandmother's house and literally hide under the blanket, bro. And this was in the middle of bright daylight. It's not like I was watching Courage the Cowardly Dog, like, late at night. Now, next up, we gotta talk about SpongeBob. Now, despite I didn't really watch SpongeBob that much, right? My cousin did. And sometimes I'd go to my grandma's house, like, on my dad's side, and SpongeBob would just be on when I was there. Now, I don't know what it was about the flying Dutchman, but he scared me, all right? Like, I mean, I was really young, of course, so I believed in ghosts, and you know what? That's probably why I was scared of him. I don't know, but he is probably one of the main reasons why I slept with a goddamn nightlight on, bro. But not only that, but there was this particular moment in the show that was scarring to about almost everybody. There was this gorilla that grabbed Patrick and SpongeBob and just started putting them in a bag and just beating them up. Now, looking at it now, obviously, it's just fucking goofy as hell, but when I was a kid, that was weird as fuck seeing some dude in a gorilla suit in a cartoon show. And not only that, it just looked really weird. I don't know what it was about it, but it just scared the living shit out of me. And I guess there were reasons why my parents technically wouldn't allow me to watch SpongeBob. I mean, maybe that maybe that was the reason. But my grandparents would put it on no problem. Next up, we got a regular show. And now I can say for certain that there were definitely some disturbing episodes in regular show. Like this one. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, you could not tell me that would not scare me when I was like eight years old, nine years old. Now there was this one episode in particular where Rigby was having nightmares from watching this horror movie with a car and the car could fucking talk. Yeah, that, I don't know what it was about that, but that shit kept me up at night. Now the scariest one had to be when they stayed in the park house, even though it was haunted and Mordecai and Rigby saw whatever that was. Definitely one of the reasons why I had nightmares growing up. Next up, we got Flapjack. Now Flapjack was a relatively old show. Now Flapjack didn't air as often as regular show but sometimes I'd see it occasionally on Cartoon Network and I thought it was a really cool show because I didn't really see it often but when I sat down and I watched like certain episodes of the show some of the visuals were just straight up disturbing bro like what the hell is this? like sometimes they'd have really close-up visuals of the characters that are like extremely detailed and it's just so detailed to the point where it's scary as hell bro I think it's safe to say it creeped out about every kid that watched the show now there was this one episode in particular where the cat Captain Knuckles was addicted to candy. And now it was similar to like any sort of drug addiction. That's why it was like really, really scary to watch. That definitely helped plant don't do drugs in my young mind because holy fuck, that was just scary to watch. I wouldn't even wish that shit on my worst enemy. That is, that has gotta be the creepiest visuals I've ever seen. And of course that scared me too, whatever this cat was in Flapjack. And now at the time I was watching YouTube and I came across like a video of scary moments in TV shows whatever and I saw whatever this cat was and let's just say I never watched flapjack ever again even when I was in fifth grade watching YouTube I was like damn 
That shit is scary as- So I never watched Flapjack ever again. We'll leave it at that. Now let's talk Adventure Time. Now Adventure Time, it was a really seemingly innocent show about a kid that goes on adventures with his dog, right? There were just some really disturbing episodes. Like, I don't know what it was about this one episode in particular, but there was this deer that could walk and it took off its like hoof things. I was like, what the f- The writers of the show had to be high or some shit when they came up with that. Like, how does, how does a human being even come up with that? I don't know what this thing was, but whatever the hell it was, it just scared the fuck out of me. And it was definitely one of the reasons why I had trouble sleeping as a kid. My biggest fear is getting a buzz cut as a kid. Nope. A bad dream. Nope. That fucking thing. Whatever that is, I, I was scared of it. And you know it's scary. If it's scarier than the cut getting fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like another human being is gonna go through some serious trauma. Like if the cut gets messed up, I'm just saying. Now we can't forget Scooby-Doo. Of course this show was gonna scare me. Now, Scooby-Doo, of course, Scooby and the gang were out here trying to solve some mysteries. And it scared me so much to the point where it, when it came on, I'm like, I don't even want to watch it. So I just shut it off right away because it, it just scared me that much. I, I guess, I guess the monsters and Scooby-Doo were my number one ops growing up. Now, I had a pretty big fear of clowns growing up. So I, I guess I, it was just the clown dude that scared me a lot. Like, I don't know how the hell I was afraid of clowns, bro. Like, they're just so fucking goofy looking. And most of them are fat. Like, if anything, I'm outrunning them. I was the second fastest kid in my grade, man. That that had to hold some kind of status, all right? Like, I, I don't know why I was scared of these clowns, bro. Now, next up, let's talk about this Goosebumps show. Now, I don't even want to watch it because I, I just, I looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, that's going to be scary. Now, even though I read all the books, which makes absolutely no sense, I just didn't want to watch the TV show. I guess there was just something about like actually seeing the image that would have made me fucking shit myself. Looking back on it, I would have been like, wow, bro, like you're such a fucking pussy. Like, how the hell can that scare you? Like, I... I don't know. And some of you might be like, bro, the video's not over. And you mentioned about like a lot of the scary cartoons growing up. Some of you might be thinking, aren't you saving the scariest one for last? I mean, you mentioned courage like right at the beginning. I mean, there's nothing scarier than that. Trust me, there very well is. And these creatures, whatever the fuck they were, they had to be my number one ops when I was a toddler. You know that show, Little Einsteins, right? It's a fairly innocent show. It's uh, a show about, I don't know, these kids that go on adventures or some shit. I don't remember the plot. I don't care to look it up. But there were these like DVDs and they were for like really young kids and they were called like Baby Einstein. And at the time I was like four years old and this had to be responsible for like 90% of my nightmare. And a lot of you might be like, what? What? Are you joking? Like this seems like a fairly innocent cover. I mean, like just look at the cover. It, it looks, it looks really kid friendly and child friendly. A lot of the imagery on these DVDs were just really, really, really like weird and disturbing to me. I don't know if it's just like the certain perception I had of it maybe because I was a kid. Look at this little goofy giraffe with his fucking guitar. You know what I mean? Like it, it seems innocent, but holy shit, my brain used these characters and created the most that my brain could possibly think of. Now I watch these DVDs all the time. And to be honest with you, that might be the reason. A lot of these DVDs did not sit right with me. And I had nightmares that this fucking caterpillar thing was chasing me. I was trying to make up a nice gourmet meal of my ass, bro. So I was running. My short and little stubby, like four-year-old legs just couldn't keep up, bro. So yeah, just all that summed up. That was my childhood drama. And that's why I had nightmares growing up. And even think about this shit to this day, keeps me lying awake. Comment below the TV shows that scared you or whatever it was. Now catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.